What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to solve a system of equations that has three equations and three variables, right? But we're going to go over a couple specific solutions, mainly when you get either no solutions or infinitely many solutions, right? So let's start with this one right here. The first thing you want to do to solve the system is pick two equations. So here I'll just pick the first two and instead of rewriting them I'm just going to use some sorcery and drag them down like that, okay? So those are the first two equations. Now, I want to just eliminate one variable. So in this case, let's just get rid of x, all right? So if we're gonna get rid of x, we're gonna have to multiply this entire equation by negative five, right? So then we'll have negative five x on top since we have a positive five x on the bottom, all right? So if we do that and distribute that in there, uh, we're gonna get negative five x minus five y minus five z is equal to negative 10, right? And then we'll bring this second equation uh, back down right here. So this one is uh, 5x plus 5y plus 5z is equal to 3, okay? Now we're going to add these two bad boys together, right? So first of all, negative 5x plus 5x, well, that's just equal to 0. Uh, here, negative 5y, positive 5y, same thing. Here, same thing. And then lastly, we get uh, negative 10 plus 3 is equal to negative seven. Okay, so on this side, we basically just got a big fat zero, right? So here we get zero is equal to negative seven. Now, this is obviously a false statement, right? This is a flat out lie. Zero is not equal to negative seven, right? So if you ever get where some number is not equal to some other number, then that means your system of equations up here actually has no solutions. I'm just gonna abbreviate because I'm lazy, all right? No solutions. Okay, so that's the first special case. Now let's go over the second one. All right, here's the next example. So again, the first thing you wanna do is just pick two of your equations and bring them down. So in this case, I'll just pick the first two again. So we'll do that magically like that, all right? Now the second step is just eliminating one variable, right? And in this case, uh, let's just eliminate the z's since they can already cancel each other out right here, right? So if we just add these two equations together, here we're gonna get uh, 2x minus 2y and then the z's kill each other and then we get that that's equal to negative 6. Okay now remember whenever you're solving three equations that have three variables you have to use all three right so now we have to use the third one. So we can use the third one and then you can either pick the first or the second. Let's just pick the second all right so that way it's kind of easy to drag down <laughs> like that okay. So those are my two equations right there. And again, we just need to eliminate one variable and it has to be the same variable that we just eliminated over here. So the z's again. And luckily it's already set up so we can easily eliminate this one, right? So we have a negative z and a positive z right there. Okay, so if we add these together, uh, again, uh, here we're gonna get six x uh, minus six y. Those go poof, poof away. And then here, this is equal to negative 18, right? So we have two new equations right here, right? So we have uh, 2x minus 2y is equal to negative 6, and 6x minus 6y is equal to negative 18. Okay, so now this is a little bit easier. We have two equations with two unknowns, right, x and y. So again, we can use the elimination method to get rid of one of these variables. So we can get rid of these x's, right, if we multiply this whole thing, this first one, by a negative three, right? So we'll have a negative six on top since we already have a positive six on the bottom right there. So if we multiply this one by negative three, we're gonna get negative six x uh, plus six y is equal to positive 18. And then uh, I'm gonna scroll down actually. And then we'll bring down our second equation right there, right? The six uh, x minus six y is equal to negative 18. All right, so again, if we add these together, uh, let's see, negative 6x, positive 6x, those die. Uh, here, these kill each other also. And then here, these also kill each other, right? So we basically get a big fat zero on this side. So we get zero is equal to zero. Okay, so this is obviously a true statement this time, right? Zero is actually equal to zero. So whenever you get zero is equal to zero, that means we have infinitely many solutions. Okay, so this is kind of half of our answer right now, right? Okay, cool, we know we have infinitely many solutions, but now we have to actually write out our answer in an ordered triple, right? The whole x, y, z thing. Okay, and one thing I wanna point out is since we do have infinitely many solutions, 
that means we don't have just a single solution for each of these variables, right? That means we don't just have a single number for each of these variables. That means each of these variables are actually going to be re represented by an expression. Okay, and it's important to point out that each of your expressions are going to have the same variable, okay? So you just need to pick whether you want them to all be x's, all be y's, or all be z's. Okay, so for instance, if you chose that you wanted all your answers to be in terms of x, then your answer would look something like x, and then the y would be written in terms of x, so it'd be like x plus 1, or you know, it'd just be x plus or minus some number. Okay, and z would be the same thing. It would be just x plus or minus just some random number. Okay, and since x is just equal to itself, then you would just have a single x right there. Now, if you wanted to write everything in terms of y, then we would change x to be in terms of y, right? So it would just be some expression like y minus 2 or something. y, again, in this case, since we're solving everything for y, would just be itself, right? The independent variable again. And z would be written in terms of y again, right? So it would just be y plus or minus some random number. And then for z, you guessed it, exact same thing, x and y would be written as expressions with z's in them, and then z would just be itself. Okay, so in this case, let's just get everything in terms of x. Okay, now to do that, the first thing you need to do is choose one of your uh, two equations over here that you came, the, the two new equations. And in this case, let's pick this one since the numbers are smaller and probably easier to work with. So we have 2x minus 2y is equal to negative 6. Okay, so if I want my answers in terms of x, that means here I'm going to solve uh, this equation for y because I want y is equal to some expression with an x in it. And then that's what we're going to plug in for y right there. Okay, so we're going to solve for y right here. So let's get rid of this 2x by subtracting 2x from both sides. Those cancel out. So then we get negative 2y is equal to uh, negative 2x minus six, all right? Now, uh, to solve for y, we'll divide both sides by negative two. Those cancel out, so then we get y is equal to x plus three, okay? So we get an expression with an x in it for y right here. y is equal to x plus three. So this is what we're gonna plug in for our y right here, okay? We're gonna put an x plus three right there. Okay, so x, like I told you, is just gonna be itself, so there's nothing we have to do here. So the only other one we have to solve for now is z. So we need an expression to replace z with. So in order to do that, we're going to have to use an equation that actually has z in it. So we're gonna have to use one of the original equations, right? Because these are the ones that have z in it. So let's just use uh, this first one right here. So x minus y plus z is equal to negative three, and I'll write it down here so we kind of keep our work together. Okay, so remember, we're trying to solve everything in terms of x, right? So this y right here, I'm actually going to replace this y with uh, our answer over here of x plus 3. Okay, so if I rewrite this, we're going to have x minus, and then our uh, x plus 3 here, right? x plus 3, and then the rest of this equation plus z is equal to negative 3. Okay, now I can distribute this uh, negative sign right here into the parentheses and then I can drop them, right? So we're gonna have x minus x minus three plus z is equal to negative three, all right? Now combining like terms over here, well, x minus x, those just cancel each other out, and then this negative three will move to the other side, so we'll add three to both sides, those cancel out, so then we get z is equal to zero, okay? So here we actually did get a number for our z term right here. We didn't end up getting an expression with x in it because, well, the x's killed each other right there, right? But that's okay. Sometimes you will end up with just a specific number for one of your variables right here, okay? So for z, in this case, we got a zero. So rewriting our answer over here for our ordered triple, it would be x comma x plus three comma zero. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.